Hey keyboard enthusiasts, starting YouTube content back up today with a switch review. Today we're looking at the C3 Kiwi Tactile from the Key.Company. First impressions and technical details to start, then we're going to look at some switch tuning recommendations, and then we're going to build these Kiwis up into a keyboard. Hope you all stick around for the entire thing. Enjoy. All right, so let's get into it. The C3 Kiwi Switch, similar to its linear counterpart, the Tangerine, is a 67 gram spring-weighted switch with a UHM WPE housing and a T1 stem. If you're curious, I'll be getting into a comparison between these switches and the T1s later in the video. I'm gonna start switch tuning by lubing every component of the switch. That includes the rails of the housing, the stem, and the spring. I'm using a 203G0 lube, which is a thinner variant that I really like for tactile switches. On the spring, I'm using a Victorinox Swiss Army Knife oil, but I'll use a mix later on. Keep these tuning methods in mind, and I'll show you a comparison of what the full switch tuned sounds like, what the spring lubed sounds like, and then also what the spring and stem lubed sounds like. It's difficult to tell here, but adding a switch fill makes the Kiwi sound deeper. Personally, I found the airy sound quite nice, so I opted not to film these switches for my build. But as always, your mileage may vary. So as promised, here's the comparison for the T1 switch and the Kiwi switch. Really didn't see much of a difference at all in these two.
Now that our switches are tuned up, it's time to put them in a keyboard. For this build, we selected a TGR Rama collaboration called the Exent. I've gone ahead and time-lapsed highlights from the Twitch stream. Speaking of, I do keyboard builds twice weekly on Tuesday and Thursday nights starting at 9 p.m. Eastern. If you have any questions, this is a great spot to find me and your answers. That said, enjoy the footage. I've used these Kiwis for about a day now, and I really like them. They're very smooth, and they have a great acoustic tone. For weaker fingers, I would recommend spring swapping them to a 62 gram. With all that said, thanks for watching, and enjoy the typing sounds. See you next time.